So the marginal rate of substitution is the rate at which a consumer is willing to give up good Y to get an additional unit of good X while holding utility constant. So the marginal rate of substitution for X to Y is the negative of the slope of the indifference curve. So we're going to derive this. So let's suppose a consumer changes their consumption of good X by delta X and they change their consumption of Y by delta Y. Well the resulting change in utility, delta U, we can express it as follows. Delta U, the change in utility, is going to be the marginal utility of X times the change in consumption of X plus the marginal utility of Y times the change in the consumption of Y. We'll break this down. Right, so the marginal utility of X is how much utility changes when X changes by one unit. And then the delta X is how much X is changing by. And then the same will be true for the marginal utility of Y and delta Y. So, since we're on a given indifference curve, we're holding utility constant, the change in utility has to be zero. So I'll substitute that in, making my left-hand side zero. I'll do a little manipulation here of these terms. I'm going to subtract the marginal utility of x times delta x over to the left-hand side. Next, I'm going to divide by delta x and divide by the marginal utility of y. Then my left-hand side will be the negative of the ratio of the marginal utility of x to y and the right hand side is delta y over delta x. Now this is starting to look familiar. The right hand side is giving up y to get x. You'll recognize that as a basic slope formula. The left hand side then is going to be the slope of the indifference curve. So the marginal rate of substitution we said is the negative of the slope of the indifference curve. It's going to be a positive value and the marginal rate of substitution is the ratio of marginal utility of X to marginal utility of Y. 